Hello everybody and welcome back to Last of Us 2. This is still loading because I quit. So in the last part, uh, everybody went on with their lives. Ellie and Dina live on a farm. Abby and Lev are looking for okay. fireflies. Hi. And they found them. You were right. Uh, what was that? Why do you make me repeat whenever I'm wrong? That's what I do. Makes me feel better. And because it happens so rarely. Uh. Hey, this way. Oh, I forgot where I was. So we have to go to the bay. I, f I forget. <laughs> Who are you, people? Oh, nice. Oh. Fireflies? Uh, ah! I'm chilling now. Tyra. Oh, these are those snake guys. You ready? Wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait. Fuck, man. So you take it out. You're fine. Get that little one. Touch him! Oh, shit. What the hell did you catch him? Okay, so are these guys even worse? Worse? I have a suspicious feeling this is the end of the game. Or at least close to where, towards it. Why introduce these guys now? Whoever they are. Oh, we got the boat. Is there something wrong with that? Yep. <laughs> where did you go from here? Keep your map on you this time so they don't find you. I don't know why I thought that was a hanging body. How would she get up to the street from here? Oops, wrong button. How are my weapons doing? I got everything. I think from when I was last LA, I still got it all. This looks promising. Looks like a big wall. I mean, what if you come all this way and Abby's dead? You know? What are you gonna do then? Like, what if she got infected and you don't know? Although, I guess... There was info about, uh... A big woman traveling with a kid with scars. Yeah. Uh, over this. Mesa Bluff. I'm here, and Santa Barbara proper is that way. Hopefully they didn't travel too far. I was wondering why I was running so fast. I forgot I had uh, explosive arrows. Gonna give it back? Okay. I think 
think that was a stalker? If it is, I'm gonna do what I always do. Run for the hills. What? <laughs> okay. You know, I haven't experienced really any bugs until this part of the game. Run for it! Ooh, 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 not that way. Uh, big circle. Don't stop running. This way. Up here. Oh, great, you're in here too. Up through the door, or the window. Run, Ellie. You're probably out of breath, I know. S don't stop. So many infected. Am I clear? I think I'm clear. So where did I put my journal? Where's all this? Okay, this I read. Dixie National Forest. A couple hunters tried to jump me. Didn't go well for them. I just got to the outskirts of Las Vegas. I can hear the infected from here. Must be thousands still alive inside the walls. What a nightmare. I'm going to go around. Palmdale, CA. So, I'm hiding out in a basement, hoping this whore passes by. Miss you, potato. Still in this fucking basement. The batteries in my flashlight are almost done. The dark is fucking with me. I keep seeing him, smelling iron. I miss Dina, I miss potato. What am I doing here? I got out. The horde was distracted by a new group of travelers. Some of them didn't make it. Two of the bodies were kids. I buried them. Jesus. Made it to the coast, finally. It's gorgeous. Flowers everywhere. There's this thick morning gloom. Doesn't seem like the military ever came through. Maybe it was too spread out. I wish Dina could see this. She lose her shit. I like the sound of the waves. Heading to the coast, I haven't seen people in a few days or intact sailboats. What if Tommy was wrong? What if they're not here anymore? I can't think about that. 24, 25 constants. They've never shown a kid dying in this game, have they? I don't think so. Come on! Should I just keep running? There we go. Please don't talk, Ellie, because then you make me think I can run. Oh, an RV. Am I in Santa Barbara yet? Oh, come on. The crossbow was so much better. Oh, shit. Oh. Was that planned? Damn it. Ellie, you're gonna have to chew your way through. Is there someone hanging next to me? Or is that an infected? Okay. Ellie's having fun. We're gonna cut to Abby. Oh, you bled a lot. Abby. Abby. I found you. I found you. The 
Oh, nope, just another guy with muscles. a month uh, uh, can we please just say we're done for the day yeah. yeah get that thing down let's reset the trash really man i mean is she even worth the trip back it's not like so close why would you back into that <laughs> something funny like you shit your pants. The fuck you say. Oh, little bitch. <laughs> oh, you, you like funny. Should huh? grab her knife. Get up. Come on. Get up. We don't need no, this. No, she's fucked up anyway, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, right? Stop. It's funny. Seriously. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, 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 you said Abby. You're looking for an Abby, right? We picked one up uh, a couple months ago. That was a couple months? Oh, no, big girl. Blonde. Arms like mine. She had a... Yeah, she hers a bigger. ...a kid with it. Cuts by his mouth. Yeah, yeah that's her. You let me go. I'll tell you where she is. What you tell me? You can get to her before that infection takes over. Talk. She's in a holding cell at our camp. Where is that? Head that way till you hit the railroad track. That'll lead you to a resort. We keep them in the tall, round building. I swear. It's kind of a silencer. That's going to be helpful. All right, just use a first aid kit. You got some in your bag. I was gonna say, how funny would it be, or not funny, but how weird would it be if that bite infected Tracks Ellie? But it wouldn't make sense because she's been building. inhaling spores for years. High caliber. Tall, round building. Does that get every gun? Well, at least she stitched it. Fuck. Over here! Aim for it! <laughs> Rattler? Go back. Is that a gun? He's got a gun! Go back. God damn it! Shit. Alright. Fuck, did he get a gun? Tell the others to search the area. Make sure he's the only one. Fuck you! More dogs. Cover your eyes. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry. Now this is an end of the game gun. I really wish you can kill the leader or the owner of the dog and then the dog can go free. You know, like the dog is like, I don't want to do this. Let me go. Please. Put that in the update patch. The big round building. Uh, I know these look round. Where? Oh. Did 
Thank God this silencer doesn't break. I want to swap these just so it's easier to get to. Was that not the person looking? What the hell? It's Marta! Oh no, what? What? Someone took her out! Who the fuck's out there? Search this whole goddamn area! Yeah, there's a lot more. Yeah, too woggly. Woggly. Oh, shit. I do kind of want to see what would happen. I'll give it another second. They're wearing helmets? Everyone they are. Reported. Talk to me. Anyone. What do we got? There's nothing over here. Oh. Find that car. You want to wear helmets? I'll shoot you in the goddamn leg. Right in the dick. I think this. Oh, there's still more. Or more than one? Uh oh. Get down. Where's the axe? Coward. Yeah. Found you. Dog, please. Okay, you know what? Just cut this from the video. I'm just gonna put the dog to sleep. And we're moving on. And we're moving on. <laughs> God damn! I gotta start using these arrows more. I wonder if you can get through this game without killing. No, you can't. You have to kill Alice. I was gonna say if you can get through this game without killing any dogs, but Alice, you have no choice. Unless she kills you. Scars, wolves, fireflies, fuck all these groups. Why do they keep picking groups about animals? I guess Scars isn't, but... Are Sephirites... What are Sephirites? Okay. Tracks to the resort. Uh, look like palm trees. Is that the resort? I always do wonder, like, in Ellie's mind, how is she going to beat Abby? Because no offense to Ellie, but Abby, she's a hulk of a woman. Probably a lot of ex years of experience killing uh, anyone, really. Scars. And Ellie, you know, I just don't know. You know, Ellie, you can do some good here. You can save these people. How do I get in there? With my wits. And hopefully there's a hatch on the ceiling or something. Uh, who are you? Hey, Rattlers, it's Mackenzie. I'm out free. My husband died picking your fucking tomatoes. 
We aren't some lonely stragglers. I'll be back with others. Your time is coming. You're not gonna sign your name? Okay. I'll make sure the the rattlers get this note. I'll pass the message on. Yeah. I mean, they can easily escape through here. People really gotta secure their fences. I just realized it's a bit uh ironic. Come on, come on. You can do it. Just a little closer, buddy. Leave him alone. Uh with like Joel hurting his side and now Ellie or hers, but Ellie's still fighting. That guy's a slave. Or yeah, he he's a slave to these people. I really don't wanna throw a Molotov. Would that guy give me up? Okay. In case this does restart the encounter, in case like I fuck this up, I want to see what this guy does. Oh, I can set him free. Go get him, man. Oh, it's infected. Hey, no. Oh. All right. Well, there goes this element of surprise. Let's try and pull my shotgun out. I was like that. Who else? You're dead. Yeah. You want to get bricked? I think I'm good. I'm gonna say I'm good. Yep. Well, that was almost okay. Ooh, they did have more hits. You know what? That's got more hits, so I gotta upgrade it. Did that infected get anyone? Where's the body? Uh, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Did you get anyone, buddy? Did you do good? I think you did good. Who is playing music? Is this copyright? It better not be. So I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk until you shut it off. Where am I going? Here? Oh man. Can I please shut the radio up? Hmm. For stealth for now. Another infected, I can let loose. I know I'm in the middle of this thing, but no, I got one pill. I literally have a single pill. That's my ticket out pill. <laughs> Quickly down, 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 down. Shit. Alright, quick. <laughs> Alright, better not let that zombie lose. Or infected. Sorry. I'm hidden. Move in. No, I'm not. We're gonna fuck you up. God, that guy's so close. I'll just leave that there. 
Oh, shit. Got him. Oh. I'm not doing that great stealth. Whoo! Oh, there's more up there. Go free. Oh, there's clickers, too. Well, they're tougher. All right, I'm just going for it. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Where are you gonna spawn me? Okay. Bert? Uh, where are you going? <laughs> okay, whatever. No, no. Gotta get in the bushes. Why is Infected just walking around? Alright, let me try and shoot this chain, see what happens. That works. They're like, huh? What do we do now? <laughs> there we go. Go, clickies! Don't get stuck on each other. Take turns. Single file line, please. Alright, well, they're busy with that. I'm gonna... Bitch, why'd you have to give me away? I just blasted your brain matter all over that wall. Go, Clicker. You're doing good work. There's more infected in there. Oh, shit. Fuck. Uh-oh. -uh. I was trying to jump over. I think I just did the quick turnaround. Damn it. Go free, my friends. No, no, I got it. Hi. Oh. All right, I'm just going to go in case those clickers run back up. Oh. Right, I'm just gonna go hope for the best. Alright, let's go upstairs. Ow! Ow! See, you come after me now. You got so many other things to worry about right now. Okay. Uh, these were the guys I sniped earlier.
All right, I think they killed them. Is this, is this the end of the area? Am I in the clear? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. It's gotta be a fucking stray. Shit. Spread out. Guard the tower. Ah. Got her. Over here. Fuck. No, you're not. Don't worry about it. Oh, shit. Who? Oh, my God. They're everywhere. I'm just going to go. Who? Oh. Go, 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 go. Who the hell? Where, where'd you come from? Get me out of here. Whew. All my shotgun ammo's gone. Alright, oh, I can't even... I need rags. I need rags right now. Wait, where am I going? Oh. Try the door next time, idiot. Ooh. Well. Oh. Nice job, guys. Sweet, I got an army now. Right, come on, let's go. Hey, whoa. where's Abby? She's bit. Keep back. Hey, don't put that fucking thing in hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. How did you see that bite mark? It's so tiny on my hand. She's probably already dead. Well, I'll make sure of it. Okay, bye guys. Have fun. Alright, so I'm just like permanently hurt now. Just gonna try and heal. Or, no, I don't even have heals. Never mind. Ellie is going crazy. <laughs> Even if she kills Abby, she's gonna like still be like, I need more Abbies. Anybody named Abby will do. You're welcome. Well, say one thing, Valley. She is a trooper. Headed to the beach. Oh wow, that went up. That happened fast. So even if like Abby or Ellie kills Abby, what about Lev? What are they gonna do about him? I assume they're with Abby. Oh. Do I have to search all of you? Abby? <laughs> you think she's gonna answer? She's like, why the fuck is this girl back here? I'll probably find Scar Kid. Oh. Abby, is that you? Is that her?
hear someone coughing, but I can't tell where it's coming from. I can't even go up there. Oh, Abby, is that you? Oh, yeah, she got a haircut. Hi. She looks a lot, uh, less muscular. And a lot more starved. What are you gonna do now, Abby? Or Ellie? Can't stab her or anything. I can't get up here, Abby. This is too much for me. All right, never mind. You came this way to kill Abby. Ah, stab her. What is happening? This is very slow. You know, Ellie, if you didn't uh, come after Abby, she probably would have been dead anyway. Troy would have died. I get you came this way to kill Abby, but she's... And like, she's weakened and shit. She's been through a lot. But, uh, what are you doing? You wanted to kill her, say you'll ki say you'll kill her. Kill her! You're gonna have more nightmares about it. You left Dina for this. Unless it's gonna be like a fist fight. Hey, Joel. <laughs> what was that? Oh, now you remember why you came here. I can't let you leave. You put your gun away. Just shoot her. He's a part of this. She spared Dina. Okay. Because of love. Okay. All right. Up, <laughs> squirt, squirt. Oh, no, you're Scarface. Don't show her your weak uh, side. Oh, death by a thousand cuts. Oh, my God. 
Oh, right, the, the bad side. I'll say this fight's a little unfair. One of them has a knife. Okay. Oh. These two are fighters, I'll give them that. That's going in. The gun is still in the boat. Can I get the gun? Sorry, Abby. Um, that looks controlled by a human. Maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let me go. Oh, ah, stop punching that side of me. This is a brutal fight. In Dutch. Yep. Didn't dodge fast enough. Drown her? Oh, that came off. You're stopping out. Oh, did she lose two fingers? Go. Let's take him. Is this game really still going? <clears throat> I'm just baffled by all the choices being made by these characters. So let's just let's just go inside, see what happens.
It's all cleared out. She go back to Jackson. Probably. She took the toilet paper. She left your firewood. Thanks for that. It's probably the room I gotta go into. I'm just gonna check the others first. Oh yeah, wasn't this the baby's room? Or no, it was the painting room. It's going to be harder to play. What are those like short notes supposed to like be the ring and pinky finger? think so. At least Joel died with all of his fingers. Hey. Oh, is this the night she kissed Dina or Dina kissed her? Left testicle. I'm bad. Oh, I've seen that mug. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Dina, she your girlfriend? No. <laughs> no, she, that was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just, I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. Of what that girl's intentions are, but but I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. 
but you took that from me. Somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. See you around. Yep. <clears throat> Next time she sees him. Oh, that's where the butterfly comes from. Okay, I guess that's the end. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let like this part play out because these people, they deserve it. I need to gather my thoughts for a minute. You may be wondering why I'm wearing different clothes right now. That's because this is a few days after I recorded this part and I just had to sit on this for a while to really get my thoughts concrete because I I had mixed emotions for like days after on how I felt about this but I think my mind's made up now so let's get into the ranking so before I start ranking I'll say the only real issue I had with this game was the story there were some things that, uh, I was mixed on the story but I'll get to it but uh, let's just get into the ranking so if you don't know, I rank on 10 points based on five categories consisting of two points. And the categories are design, gameplay, story, worth the money, and funness. So first up, design. This is the most beautiful fucking game I've ever seen on this generation of consoles. It is amazing. The graphics, cinematics, environments, the sound designs, everything is beautiful about this game. If... If there wasn't anything else in this game but just the graphics, I'd give it 
all the points. I can only imagine what this will look like next gen, but right now it is setting a pretty high standard moving forward for new games. Even like the animations, so like the facial emotions, just any animation, the cinematics. Beautiful, just beautiful. The sound design is amazing, the clickers still sound terrifying to me. The shamblers, bloaters, more bassy, the that monster thing in the sewer. Uh it's all it's all great. Two out of two. The gameplay. Now the gameplay was what I had an issue with in the first one. I gave that a one out of two just because it felt like pretty basic gameplay. I felt like they could have added more to it, and they did for this one. They added a lot more features, which I like. With with actual fighting combat, you can dodge, you can sort of dive, you can go prone, you can hide in bushes and tall grass. Tall grass. They added some more weapons, which is cool. The flamethrower, the crossbow. The sound, the, I don't remember if the silencers were in the first one, but pretty cool here. The looting was pretty much all the same. There was, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's still the same. It was all good. I just felt like it, I could have been like a little more like faster picking stuff up, like opening the opening cover doors it takes like five seconds just to open it and look at it and be like, "Here's my item, yoink." But that 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 doesn't matter. I'll give the gameplay two out of two. So now the story. The one thing I really had the issue with for this game. So first of all, I'll say I liked the plot method. I liked the revenge story. I didn't know it was going to be based up. Uh, I didn't know the events of this game were going to be based on the first one. I thought it was going to be like a new story Joel and Ellie go on. I never saw the leaks or anything. I didn't know what happened the entire time. And I like that, you know, Joel, I was not mad about Joel's death. I can understand why people who waited seven years to see the story continue or are upset that Joel died two hours in. But for me, I played this game like a month before this came out, so I didn't have that much of a, like, I didn't have that much like of a connection to the character since it wasn't like a seven year waiting gap. But I'll, I'll say I'll say it till I die. Joel deserved that, all right? He has fucked over countless people that you don't even see in the first game. The Fireflies were just one of them. There's probably hundreds of other groups Joel's pissed off. Any one of them could have come for him at any time. And I like the idea of Ellie going to go kill people because they killed her father. But I just felt like from then on, choices were stupidly made by most of the characters in this game. Let's start with Ellie. For Ellie, I can understand why people didn't like her in this one because she wasn't as fun as she was in the other one. She was much more darker and adult, adultier. She's older. She's four years older. The death of Joel really impact her, impact her, made her super mature and like just wants revenge. Nothing, no funny games in this one. And I can see that. I missed the fun Ellie making jokes about everything. Looking at porno mags. Why is it so sticky? Uh, yeah, I wish I could see that character, but she's growing up. It's nothing you can really do. She's a teenager. Ellie's friends, Dina, Jesse, I thought they were okay. They are cool. Jesse, I didn't really care about him, but then when he got shot, I was like... One great thing about this game, they make death impactful. It's like, bam, dead. Like, anyone could die any second after Jesse dies. I was like, oh boy, what's gonna happen next? Who's gonna die? I think really it was only Jesse... Manny that were like BAM dead like in the middle of a conversation. I even thought Tommy died when Abby shot him in the head. Also with the whole Abby side of things, she was an okay character. I didn't hate her. She was okay. I understood why she kills Joel, but I just didn't really care about her. I get her I get they were trying to make her feel like the sympathetic character, like you should love this character, and that Ellie's trying to kill her. I just didn't I wanted Ellie to kill her. Just, I want to be Ellie. That's what I want to be. I don't want to be Abby running around doing whatever. I want to play Ellie's side. And also the ending of the game, I did not like it. I think Ellie should have killed Abby. She, she lost everything before she even went after Abby the second time. She lost Joel. She lost like, I guess her connection with Tommy because he's all pissed. She lost Jesse, a friend. She basically lost her sanity because she is basically insane. She has PTSD. But then she went after Abby again. This time lost Dina and the potato. 
and everything, just everything else. And she didn't even kill Abby. The one thing she set out to do, that she threw away everything else to go to, didn't even do it. And also in between uh, when I recorded this part and the video, I listened to other people explain like what they think happens, or like their thoughts. I understood people think like, oh, there's a glimpse of hope for Ellie. She's gonna get better. She's not Joel. This game has taught me nothing, that people are not good. If they were doing this end for the first game, it would be Joel is about to kill the Fireflies, but he's like, no, no, I can't do it. And that made that ending of a game so impactful. This one, it's, no, I'm not gonna kill her. Which is like, why? Why, you wanted her dead this entire time. What? Also, the entirety of Abby's friends, I didn't care for them either. I, I didn't want to play Abby's side really at all. If it was just like cutscenes of Abby, that'd be cool. I did not want to play any of them, learn about the other characters. I just wanted to maybe learn about Abby and that's it. I don't care about anyone else. And they're all assholes, all right? So maybe Ellie should have killed them. Manny is a perverted asshole that just spits on dead people. Owen is a cheating asshole that doesn't even want to be with his girlfriend, wife, it's confusing, who's pregnant. And Mel, the pregnant lady, decides I'm gonna go into battle probably six or seven months pregnant because she had a tummy on her. And not saying she shouldn't go because she's a pregnant woman, but it's also the apocalypse. Think about new life. Just stay home. Have, make life. Since you're already doing it, you're midway there. And just make life. So also with the story, I guess I should throw in the actors, like the voice acting. It was all amazing. I think they all did a great job. The Troy Baker, Laura Bailey, Ashley Johnson, they all did amazing. So story, I'll give it a one out of two. There was some good things, there were some bad things. Not a perfect story, so one out of two. Exxon was worth the money. So it was a $6 game. I played for about 20 plus hours. I'd say alone on like just the hour of just the hours of playing it, it was worth it because I skipped through most parts like we can go exploring, of like finding collectibles or notes or anything. I just mostly skip through some of those sections. So it probably would have been like a 30 hour game. And also there weren't really any ground or game breaking bugs or like crashes or anything. The only bugs, if you saw them in this part, were like I, the textures didn't load for one thing or I saw through the world for like half a second and that's it. They really took their time polishing this game with the delay, so good on them for that. So I say, was it worth the money? Yes, a two out of two. So now the funnest. This is not a fun game, but the funnest category really means like enjoyment. Like how much did I enjoy it? And so many times playing this game, I was like, oh, I don't want to be doing this right now. Oh, man. For example, killing dogs. I don't want to kill dogs. Just give me like a now option or something. I get that's the gameplay mechanic new that you put in there, but still. Even when you're fighting other people, them calling out other people's names that are dying, it makes it more real. Like, oh my God, he had a name. The name was Martha. <laughs> But other than those parts, the combat was so fun. It's still fun learning more about this world, reading like notes, learning other people's stories. But also I felt it was a long game. It was a really, really long game. I felt like most of like the missions of like the Seattle day one or day two or day three could have been cut in half of just like every, I'm pretty sure every mission starts and you walk up on like a tall building or hill, be like, that's the place we gotta go, let's go. And it's like super far away. There's like six or seven instances when that happens. And yeah, that's just, it's too much. You could have either cut those in half or when you first get to Seattle and you have like the map of like the big area to explore, add more of those in for like days. Like have it be like Norris somewhere in this area of town f find out where she is like that would have been cool uh yeah there were, well, there were a lot of things i enjoyed it, it was a very long game it felt 
long at certain times. So I'm going to say the funness was a 1 out of 2. And so that means we have an 8 out of 10 game. Yay. Honestly, 8 out of 10 is still a pretty good game. I just expected it to be so much more better. At least with like, I'm pretty sure everyone expected it to be a 10 out of 10. Which I don't think it is. I think it's an 8 out of 10. Is there anything else I forgot to mention? Uh, oh yeah. Um, I don't know where I would have put it in, but uh, I felt like traveling around with people, like you didn't get the bonding that you got with Joel and Ellie in the first one. Like oh, you can see them growing as characters, you can see them bonding, having fun together. You really got none of that in this one. You just got like walking and walking and sometimes like a weird odd joke or saying I'm going to go kill this person. That's really it. Anything else? Um, I think that wraps up my uh, summary on this game, or rating. So now let's go over to the series ranks. So I didn't do Last of Us 1 because I don't think I had this graphic then. So for me, not much of a de debate. Last of Us 1, number one. Number two, Last of Us Part 2. If there's a better story, it might have beat it out. The only issue I had with the first one was the gameplay, so this one did it better, but I felt like the story was more shittier and just longer. So, yep, it comes in at number two. I don't know if they'll make any more of these. I don't think there's DLC plans for this, <laughs> and I'm not throwing in DLCs like the Left Behind on this. It, I think I gave it a thumbs up. That's how I rank those. All right, so that's gonna do it for the ranking. Back to the video. New Game Plus. Play through the game again with all your upgrades and equipment obtained from a previous playthrough. Ooh la la. Alright, what I had to do. You didn't. You didn't. Are people pissed at this game because Abby killed Joel or because Ellie didn't kill Abby? I gotta look this up. And also, what are the other, what are the last other trophies? Wait, what? I have 13 out of 26, so that's half. I got 33%? What? What are like the last ones I got? Find the strange artifact? Find the engra engraved ring? Oh wait, no, I didn't find these. I'm an idiot. Complete the story. Learn all upgrades in one branch. Find all weapons. And I think I looked at all these when I got them. So what didn't I do? Learn all the upgrades, all upgrade weapons, all artifacts and journals, all trading cards, all coins, all workbenches, fully upgrade, unlock every safe, visit every location in Seattle. Yeah, I could have done that way early on. Artifact and ring. What's this hidden one? I like how on PlayStation you can actually see what it is. Put a hat on your companion. Oh, is that at the dinosaur museum? Can you put a hat on Joel? Okay, well, that's going to do it for Last of Us Part 2. I don't know if they'll make a 3. If not, it'll be another 7 years. Also, I do understand why most people were pissed. Because of, like, the wait from 2 to this. It was like a 7 year gap. For me, it was... 1 month? 2 months? So, I didn't really have, like, the emotional impact. But I, I understand why most people were like, Why did you kill Joel immediately? But I was just like, yeah, fuck Joel. He deserves it. All right, that's going to do it for this series. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next series. Goodbye.